It's Good Friday and I've got a chunk of the Bible I want to read to you today and I make no apology for reading it all. This is Luke 23 verses 26 to 46. As the soldiers led him away, they seized Simon for, from Cyrene, who was on his way in from the country and put the cross on him and made him carry it behind Jesus. A large number of people followed him, including women who mourned and wailed for him. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. For the time will come when you will say, Blessed are the childless women, the wombs that never bore and the breasts that never nursed. Then they will say to the mountains, Fall on us, and to the hills, Cover us. For if people do these things when the tree is green, what will happen when it is dry? Two other men, both criminals, were also led out with him to be executed. And when they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him there along with the criminals, one on his right, the other on his left. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they divided up his clothes by casting lots. The people stood watching and the rulers even sneered at him. They said, he saved others, let him save himself, if he is God's Messiah, the Chosen One. The soldiers also came and mocked him. They offered him wine vinegar and said, if you are the king of the Jews, save yourself. There was a written notice above him which read, this is the king of the Jews. One of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Messiah? Save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you are under the same sentence. We are punished justly for we are getting what our deeds deserved. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. It was about noon and darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. For the sun stopped shining and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last. I'm not sure that I need to say much more. I'll leave you with this, though. There's a cartoon with two characters, and one says to the other, I hate the term Good Friday. Why, the second asks. My Lord was hanged on a tree that day, the first replies. And in response, the second character says... If you were going to be hanged on that day, and he volunteered to take your place, how would you feel? Good, the first answers. A day of despair and death. A day of pain and hardship. A day when our Lord died, that we might have life. A good day.